dash and ascent and it's been of some use here now just to show you what our next video is going to be about is the saddlebag lights for the rear of the bike okay installing saddlebag lights the first thing you need to do is remove the seat now we already have a seat off this bike so i guess no need to remove it after that we take off the center panel two screws up behind the number plate if you have done this before Connect the license plate boot light, and that's that off. Next, we have to move into the saddlebag. Okay, the next thing we need to do is remove the side cover. And there's three allen bolts inside the saddlebag. purpose of that is we're rooting the wires behind the saddlebag so we need to pull them out a bit we have the three of them removed next we're going to be and on the light. Now that just sticks on with the Velcro. I'm sorry, not the Velcro, the sticky pads. Just give it a good cleaning. Remove all your little stickers. Back the stickers. And a quick blast of the hot air gun or hair dryer will help a lot. Just put them on very easily because they will stick on very fast. Okay, lifting up the saddlebags a bit, you can route the wire up under the saddlebag. And with you've these cable connectors. You don't need to make them too tight, just make sure there's no slack over the exhaust. Last thing you want is them getting burnt. So again, we're using a cable tie to pull the wire up under the saddlebag. Oh, sorry, under the seat. So feed your cable down here as neatly as possible and we plug this now into the distribution block that we installed on one of our previous videos now we'll plug this in onto the right hand side as the place work is an indicator plug them into the left hand side and the indicators will go left i don't know where last sentence was but plug this into the distribution block that we installed on you would see on an earlier video and plug it into the right hand side. Don't plug it into the left because you'll have the indicators working the wrong way around. So that's that installed and now we'll just test them, make sure they're working. Mm -hmm. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll join us again soon. You'll find all the, a link to the parts down below in the description and all the parts are available on www.shinywink.com. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell down below for, for notifications of future videos. Thank you and this is goodbye from Paul.